charcoal. And now Don Miller will talk with you about uh, his experience with charcoal. You know, one of my favorite things with charcoal, and you can use it in so many ways, we could not even enumerate them all in one program or ten programs. But a number of years ago, after I'd learned about the wonderful uh, miracle working properties, and I do use the word miracle because it does work miracles as far as I'm concerned, um, was when I'd gotten out of the Marine Corps and I moved to my farm in Missouri. And when I got there, I decided, hmm, I want to have some horses. Now, I wasn't familiar with buying horses. I didn't learn that in college, didn't learn that in the Marine Corps, but I did want to buy some horses. And so I had bought three horses. And I thought I had enough horses, but then I got a phone call one night from a man saying, look, I've got another horse I'd like to sell you. We'd already bought one horse from this man, and um, he said, I want to sell you another horse. And I said, well, I really don't want any more horses. He said, well, I'll make you a good deal. And I said, I don't care how good the deal is. I don't want your horse. He said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you the saddle and the bridle and the blanket and the horse, and I'll deliver it all for $25. And I said, sold. I never heard that thing that you never buy a horse unseen. And so the man delivered the horse one day and he backed up his trailer to my gate around my yard on my farm and the horse was backing down this walkway and it looked pretty good until he turned it around. And that was the worst looking horse I'd ever seen. One side of his face was nothing but pus. Pus, you couldn't see the eye, it looked miserable. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to dig a deep hole for this poor thing and bury it. And I, then I decided, well, no, I, I learned about charcoal. I'd been to Uchi Pines for a seminar, so I decided to use charcoal on my horse. I had to use it two ways. I was going to use it internally and externally. Now, how do you feed a horse charcoal? It was quite easy. I took a big stainless steel bowl, put some charcoal in it, put some flaxseed in it, ground flaxseed, which Brother Champlin will be talking about, added some water, chopped up an apple, added some turbinado sugar, and I mixed it all up, and I, and I roll it into these big black... Uh, horse jelly beans, and the horse loved the things. Then I made up some charcoal poultice material, which Brother Champ will be talking about. Made up a big poultice and just slapped it on that horse's eye and tied it on with a, with a sock. And I did that every day for that horse. And within a couple of months, that horse was completely clean, completely clear. Its eye was healed. It was not blind in the eye. It had no evidence whatsoever that anything had ever been wrong with that horse. And another nice thing was the horse surprised me. I don't even think I knew it was a female horse, but it was a female horse, and the horse had a baby horse, a foal, and it was in perfect health and perfect shape. So I just think these, that, that God has given us something like charcoal to surprise us with the marvelous working powers of it, and I'm thankful for, for charcoal.